<clears throat> Hannah! Oh, Hannah! Mom? Please excuse me, ladies. Hello all, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking into the first name of Hannah. Then before we get started on this, I just need to remind you all we are still trying to hit our goal of $600 a month from Patreon before August and oh boy we are so darn close. We're on about $585 right now, so that's just 15 more dollars we need to achieve. If there's 15 of you watching this video right now who enjoy Name It's Fair enough and want to help support it for just $1 a month and get loads of extra goodies in return, then please do. We will get there in no time. And also, also I made that promise to you that if we did hit $600 a month before the end of August, I would wear some sort of silly hat. That's looking quite realistic now, isn't it? I said that and I didn't think we'd actually get there, but I might be wearing a silly hat now. Once again, let me know what silly hats you have in mind down in the comments below. Anyway, on with that first name of Hannah. Now, Hannah is primarily a girl's name, and there's two main spelling variations of it. There's H-A-N-N-A -N -N -A and just H-A-N-A. -N -N -A. Though, of course, what's perhaps most interesting about the name Hannah is that's a palindrome. Now, in case you aren't aware, palindromes are words in which they're the same backwards as they are forwards. So, H-A-N-N-A-H. If you say that backwards, it's H-A-N-N-A-H. It's a palindrome. They're the same backwards as it is forwards. There doesn't seem to be any particular reason as to why this name is a palindrome. That's just how it became a thing, really. But it's not the only first name to be a palindrome. There's also Otto, Anna, and Bob, just to name a few. And speaking of the name Anna, Anna and Hannah actually relate to one another, which is no massive surprise. If you look at the name Hannah, you'll see Anna perfectly squeezed into the middle of it there. So it's not a massive surprise to hear that Anna comes from Hannah, and so do other names that are just Anne or Annabelle, all sort of stuff like that, all derived from the name Hannah. And all these names come from the same root word, with this root word being the Hebrew name of Shana. So yes, of course, this is in fact the name of Hebrew origin and this Hebrew name of Shana means things along the lines of grace and favor so Hannah and Anna and Anne and Annabelle and all those kinds of names actually also mean grace and favor gosh you guys are getting so many names explained this one aren't you getting Hannah Anna Annie as well I guess Annabelle and all kinds of names like that they all ultimately derive from this Hebrew name meaning grace and favor and while Hannah is a popular name and we'll get on to how popular it is in a moment Grace itself has become a popular name too. So it's funny how we not only have this name that means grace, but the word grace itself is a name too. And this Hebrew name ultimately derives from the Hebrew word of Hanan, meaning they were gracious. And gracious they were indeed, because Hannah has become a hugely popular name across the English speaking world. In the USA, it is the 33rd most popular girl's name, so it's really high up there, definitely in the top 100, that's for sure, and doesn't really seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. However, it absolutely reached its peak in the 1980s in the USA. If you check uh, the popularity of the name Hannah over the years, in the 1980s in the USA, it had this huge spike going up. If it, I, I don't know why this happened, but if you happen to be an 80s Hannah, please let me know down below, I'd love to hear from you. And here in the UK, Hannah is the 62nd most popular name. So nowhere near as popular as it is over in the USA, but still pretty darn popular in that top 100 spot. Famous Hannahs include the likes of Hannah Gadsby, who's a famous Australian comedian. Dakota Fanning's actual first name is Hannah, so she's known as Hannah Dakota Fanning. And of course, Hannah Montana. Also, fun naming fact about the name Hannah Montana, which you might have already heard, is quite a popular internet fact, but originally she was going to be called Alexis Texas. But when they Googled that name and realized who else was using the name Alexis Texas, they chose not to. I, I won't explain it here, but you can find out for yourself pretty quickly by Googling that name Alexis Texas for yourself and you understand why they didn't use that name. And in regards to a famous wrestler called Hannah, well, I want to talk about Hana Kimura. Now, she is a Japanese wrestler, and I don't know if her name was actually Hannah or some Japanese name that actually just happened to sound like our English name of Hannah, but I want to talk about her. Her name was about H-A-N-A, -A, and she actually passed away recently, earlier this year, due to suicide from online bullying. So it's a really sad story, that's for sure. And I just wanted to share her with you here. I never actually saw her wrestle myself, but from what I heard, she was an amazing wrestler and a really lovely human. I, I, I'm definitely going to try and find some of her matches to watch, but it was just a really sad story. And it's just a reminder that the people you see online, like myself, like Hannah Kimura, we're real human beings. If you send abuse to anyone on the internet, anyone who creates, anyone who does anything on the internet, anyone who has a presence on the internet, you're affecting an actual human. Just don't be stupid. And on that slightly downer note, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Hannah. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? 
Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Hannah? Are you called Hannah yourself? Let me know down in the comments. And I just want to share some of the comments you guys left about last week's name of Gary. Also, the phone I usually use to read notes off of died, so I'm using my massive animating iPad, so I might look a little bit ridiculous. Kevin Iger over on Patreon said, extra fact, the word garlic comes from garlic because it's a kind of leek whose leaves look like a gar, aka a spear. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you to Kevin for all his long time support. Kevin's been a patron for so long now, and it's always great seeing comments from him. Thank you very much, Kevin. I'm sure you're watching this video. And this is a really cool fact. It makes all the sense in the world. A garlic stalks do kind of look like a spear, and I wish I mentioned that in my video about the name Kerry. And this is just a reminder, if you guys have any extra etymology facts about any of the names I talk about in any video, let me know. I love teaching you guys some stuff, but this is one thing I love more than teaching you is when you guys teach me facts. I'm not an expert in etymology or word origins at all, just a dude with an internet connection. So when you guys can share some light on a name too, that's amazing. This is we're, we're all learning together here. That's the way I've always seen Name Explain. We're all learning. I teach you guys some stuff, but more importantly, you guys teach me some stuff. Mustard Snack said, I was at a school with a kid called Gary Spearman. Does this video mean his name was actually Spearman Spearman? Yes, it does. What a fantastic name. If you're still in contact with Gary Spearman, please do go, Spearman, 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 Spearman. Maybe don't, don't bully people. That's not cool, unless he wants to be a Spearman. And Elizabeth L. French said, my youngest brother, born in 1955, was named Gary after Gary Cooper, really? And that is fascinating. One of the things I mentioned in the Gary video is that the name Gary became popular due to the actor Gary Cooper in around the 50s. So there's your proof that someone, a Gary, was actually named after Gary Cooper. And I just, I don't really think there's enough, that there's really celebrities like that anymore. Or maybe there is, like, are there any celebrities at the moment whose names are inspiring lots of baby names? I think it's more common with fictional characters these days, you know. But if, if you happen to be named after a celebrity as well who's popular at the time of your birth, once again, please do let me know. Anyway, next week we'll be looking to a first name starting with the letter I. And what name that will be exactly will be chosen on a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. So once again, guys, if you do enjoy this show, these videos, and want to help support the channel in a really good way and get tons of extra rewards like exclusive podcasts, exclusive blog posts, ad free videos, and loads of other really good stuff, then please do consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month does help out in a huge way. It really does help and it gets you closer to seeing me wearing some sort of ridiculous hat. Why did I suggest ridiculous hat? In all honesty, it could have been a lot worse, but here we are in a silly hat possibly. Fingers crossed we get in that silly hat. Okay guys, that's just about everything from myself. Goodbye and take care. Thank you.